Lately it's become really popular for CEOs and executives and the media to smash Tesla. It's really, I think, gone a bit too far. We're hating on Tesla so much that I think it gets gotten to the point where people who own a Tesla kind of feel like they're almost being cheated, treated a little bit like um, they're a different race. And I think it's, it's a bit extreme. I've got to give full respect to CEOs that aren't acting this way, that are looking at the positives that other car companies have, look at what other car companies do well, and point out those positives. If you can do that, it means you can improve your car company. If all you can see is the negatives of your rivals, right? If all you see is negatives, you're not going to improve. Highly unlikely. Xiaomi CEO. I mean, he could be saying, hey, in your face, Tesla, we just sold 300,000 cars in a single hour, right? The Xiaomi SU7 gets 300,000 orders in one hour. Probably by the time you're watching this video, they've probably got 500,000 orders. And we're talking deposits that have been paid. He could have said, in your face, Tesla, we're the new Tesla. Instead of doing that, this guy comes out and says something entirely, entirely different. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun has praised Tesla specifically Tesla's full self-driving. He said this, we still have a lot to learn. Xiaomi's CEO praised Tesla's full self-driving. He said, you know what? This full self-driving from Tesla is actually the best. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the haters. On Saturday, Tesla's VP, Tao Lin, as per Car News China, said the Model Y's first autonomous, um, basically he said he tested it and it's extremely good. For the first time, the car delivered to the owner on its own, no driver, no remote control, reaching up to 115 kilometers an hour before arriving safely at the customer's doorstep. Uh, that was shared by Tesla's VP, Tao Lin. And you got to admit, guys, all this, all this hating on Tesla we've been seeing, if the Model Y delivers itself to a customer, does up to 115 kilometers an hour on the freeway, safely gets to a customer. And personally, I've sat in one of these um, while it's driven me around and it drives incredibly well. That is a huge achievement. I don't think anyone's mentioning this. Well, very few people anyway. Li Jun said, Tesla is indeed amazing. It has led industry trends in many areas, especially for self-driving. We still have a lot to learn. I've got to admit, that kind of makes me almost emotional. I think, you know what? I've got so much respect for someone who does that. The CEO of its of Tesla's rival, right? Massive pressure in China to perform, to say the right things, to appear like you're going in the right direction, to to make sales more than what they are potentially. And out comes Li Jun, the CEO of Xiaomi, and says, Tesla is indeed amazing. It has led industry trends in many areas, especially for self-driving. We still have a lot to learn. Goodness, this guy's the CEO of Xiaomi. Xiaomi's stock price skyrockets. Did it skyrocket because of the sales? Yeah, predominantly. But it shouldn't have. I mean, not, not to say it shouldn't have gone up, but it should skyrocket more because of the clear humility and intelligence of its CEO. Tesla, actually, it's true. Their EV, the Model Y, made headlines when it was delivered to a customer's home in Austin without anyone inside. That This was the first delivery of any car to any customer anywhere in the world. Um, with that car driving itself. That's pretty awesome, right? But here's the thing, guys. All of what I've said could be completely wrong, right? <laughs> Car News China says that in China, public praising is not uncommon as part of guerrilla marketing. The term frenemies is often used when CEOs of competitors are jokingly talking about each other's products or placing an order to buy them. Neo's William Lee did it a lot with Xpeng's he... He Xiaopeng, when testing a semi-solid state battery with a 1,000 kilometer range on the ET7 sedan last year, He Xiaopeng told William to get a big cup of coffee for a long ride and offered him a discount for the Xpeng X9 MPV. But I should point out, some CEOs are not like this. Xpeng CEO is a lot more positive, and he also had positive things to say about Tesla when he did tested Tesla's full self-driving in California. 
Whereas Neo, Neo CEO is, well, he's one of those guys who likes to slam other companies, particularly Tesla. The first time the CEO of Neo and the CEO of XPeg uh, started their feud was in 2018 when Xiaopeng and Li placed a bet on whether Neo could deliver 10,000 vehicles annually that year. Uh, Li won the bet. So Neo won at that time. However, as you can see, um, XPeng have now surpassed Neo in sales every single month this year. Xiaomi's Li Jun took this to a different level. He regularly interacts with competing CEOs, praising their cars and technology, and inviting them to Xiaomi's car launches. So this is a good move from the CEO. He's not criticizing them. He's competing, but being positive. Before praising Tesla's full self-driving, he had complimented Neo's battery swap technology, says Car News China. In his latest move, Li Jun congratulated Great Wall Motors, one of the largest private Chinese automakers, on its 35th anniversary, and Li Auto on its 10th anniversary. Model Y is driving Tesla sales in China. In 2024, Tesla delivered 480,000 of the Model Y, contributing 75% of its domestic sales and a massive percentage of Tesla sales worldwide. Well, worldwide. In fact, that's more than 25% of all Tesla sales worldwide. And that's a pretty remarkable result considering Tesla was competing with the Xpeng G6, uh, BYD, their EVs, Deepal's S7, Zika 7X, uh, Onvo L60. There's so many other models. So the truth is that this is a very tough segment. And yet, Xiaomi somehow are just absolutely dominating. The U7 got 240,000 orders within minutes and 289,000 orders within a single hour. I mean, that's just unbelievable numbers. Xiaomi does have their own driver assistance system, but clearly it's not as good as Tesla's at this point in time. Their ADAS is called Xiaomi Assisted Driving Pro, and it's powered by NVIDIA's Drive AGX Thor, which offers 700 tops or a trillion operations per second. But yeah, I mean, um, Xiaomi's uh, ADAS is clearly not that great yet. There's been quite a few Xiaomi car crashes. And the truth is the actual computing speed of your car, really it's good, but it's not directly relatable to how good that actual ADAS in your car actually is. That's an entirely different thing, I think. Anyhow, getting back to the point here. Who are the CEOs that I see right now interacting in this way that I think we should look at as being leaders? Jim Farley, the CEOs of Xiaomi, and also the CEO of Xpeng. Those are three that I think that are really seeing an advantage for other business leaders. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching.